Folks, welcome to Vector Calculus. Welcome to Vector Calculus. We're going to begin with the circle, one of the most basic of the conic sections. Let's go ahead and draw a circle on the board. So this right here is a circle, and we want an equation that gives us all the properties, that incorporates all the facts we know about a circle. What are some of the facts you know about a circle? Number one, it has a radius, right? Let's call that radius R. Number two, all the points that lie on the circle's circumference are equidistant from the circle. So whatever equation we come up with has to acknowledge that fact. And finally, number three, like any geometric object, a circle is going to have a position. And that position is going to be determined by its center. Let's call that center h comma k, um, which is traditional, by the way. Now, what is the equation for a circle that's going to encompass all of these facts? Well, let me give it to you. If you have a circle at the origin, which is 0 comma 0, the equation of your circle is going to be pretty simple. It's just going to be x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Now you can complicate this a bit by incorporating a center different than the origin. So let's say you have a center like, uh, I don't know, 3 comma 4, right? What's going to be the equation of this circle? Well, instead of x squared plus y squared, we're now going to incorporate that different center. How? Well, we're going to put x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals r squared. And of course, I can also make r a number. So maybe this circle is, I don't know, 3, or for the sake of a different number, 5, five, uh, five meters long, perhaps, right? Its radii is 5 meters long. So we would have x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. And of course, you can simplify that if you want. So what is our general equation for a circle? It's going to be as simple as x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, where h comma k is the center of the circle, r is the radius of the circle, and where all the points that lie on the circle circumference are equidistant from the center. Let me go ahead and show you on that final note what that means. So let's say I pick a point on the circle. Well, what distance is it going to be from the center? It's going to be 5 units from the center, right? Likewise, let's say I pick this point. What distance is that going to be from the center? 5 units. No matter what point you pick on the circle, they're all going to be 5 away from the center. right? And that's what makes a circle so magical, so symmetric. right? Every point on the circle is going to be equidistant from the center. Alright folks, thanks for watching. That's all about the circle. Tomorrow we're going to check out the parabola.